together to witness and bless the joining together of Lucas Lorenzo Spencer and Tracy Angelica Quartermain in holy matrimony. The union of husband and wife, of heart, mind, and body, is intended for their mutual joy. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, you and in accordance with the purpose anything. for which it was instituted. Into this union, Lucas Lorenzo and Tracy Angelica now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not be lawfully married, speak now or forever hold your peace. What a down. You're fired. Anyone else? Okay. I think we're good. Tracy Angelica, will you have this man to be your husband? To live together in the covenant of marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health for richer or poorer? And forsaking all others, will you be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Spanky. No, uh, I, I'm just making sure he didn't say obey. He didn't, he didn't. Okay, all of that? Yes, I will, I will. Lucas Lorenzo, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer? And forsaking all others, will you be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Are there rings? <laughs> With this ring, I'd be wet. With this ring, I'd be wet. And now that Lucas Lorenzo and Tracy Angelica have given themselves to each other by solemn vow, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, by the power vested in me... Hold I'm on. I really need to see that prenup again. What brought this on? You've seen the prenup. I want to see it again. I object. Me too. So do I. You can't object. Give it. I don't think I will. Fine. I'm leaving. Tracy, Tracy, you can't walk out. Watch me. No, no. Oh, please. This is ridiculous. You love my dad. I'm not going to let you ruin this at the last possible moment. Tracy, for God's sake, I don't, I don't believe this. All of his praise of the adventurous life, his greatest adventure, has been with you. I don't think you realize how lucky you are to have found each other. Wow, that's a really lovely speech. You know what it tells me? That I'm right to be suspicious. Get your hand out of his pocket Whoa. right now. Come here. You are acting absolutely ridiculous. I think I'm speaking for everybody when I say I want you to get back up there, get this done, because I would like to have a damn drink already. And who asked you? Who asked me? You know what? Nobody had to. I am your granddaughter, and I get a say here. Do you know what my say is? Step aside. God, get out of your way, Tracy. You love Luke. You're too afraid to let yourself be happy. I get that. But nothing in life comes with a guarantee. It just doesn't. Paper or no paper, at the end of the day, you're going to have to stand up there and take a chance. So go. Take your chance. Hey. Take it. You're sure? She's sure. Get on with it. Well, then, by the power vested in me by the saint of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
you. It was a beautiful ceremony. One of the most memorable in any case. <laughs> it suited us. We'd like to express our gratitude. Oh, that's not necessary. It's a donation. Well, my congregation thanks you. And may you have a blessed journey together. Oh, and in case you are harboring any doubts, I assure you I am a bona fide minister. <laughs> it's true. I had him thoroughly vetted. <laughs> Right. Well done, mate. Yeah, you guys took us on a bumpy ride. Um, excuse me, can I talk to you for just a second? Well? You gonna yell at me or what? I haven't decided yet. Explain yourself. Okay. Well, I guess we're a little more similar than I thought. And I might have been feeling some sort of empathy. Look, I wanted to save you from yourself, hoping that maybe one day somebody would do that for me. I underestimated you. Good save. Uh, thank you for riding shotgun, helping keep me on the track. You did good, Dan. Don't blow it. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm glad you were here, Nick. Enjoy the party. The deed is done. Good job, both of you. Well, if I didn't know better, I think you might have meant that. You don't know me as well as you think you do, dear. I know that this hasn't been easy for you, and I've been a large part of that. But for some reason, this, uh, <laughs> this scoundrel makes you happy. And that makes me happy. Thank you, Daddy. There you are. What are you... Hi. Why, 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 why are you hiding out of here? Well, I'm done. I'm done. Well, what could be so important to sneak away and text about? Hmm? Maybe I'm arranging a last-minute Christmas present for someone special. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. It is done. <laughs> my dad and Tracy are officially married, and my life can go back to normal. You're pretty nervous here for a while, huh? Have you met my father? You know what, though? In some bizarre way, they're really, really well-matched. Thank you. I'm yeah, glad well, they managed to work it out. You know what's funny is Tracy was closer to bailing than my dad. Which I get. I, I totally understand how scary it can be to, to put your heart on the line, especially when it's been handed back to you before you start looking for loopholes. Look, I know, uh... I know how difficult it was for you to open your heart to me. I want you to know I'll, I'll never make you regret it. Everyone's attention, please. I would uh, like to toast the happy couple, so if you can all grab a glass. I'll keep it short and sweet. <laughs> to Luke and Tracy and a lifetime of making each other the happiest, miserable people in the world. <laughs>